I was living in Clapham Junction at the time and did, uh, I, I was doing bits of home brewing in my kitchen like a, a huge number of other people that start up microbreweries. Um, so it was in a very, very small kit, sort of 15, 20 litres at a time. Um, and it was through research and looking at the beers that I liked and you know, the styles that I liked to drink, I uh, started to sort of recreate them and then play about with the ingredients involved with that. It's always a bit of a leap of faith brewing it for the very first time. There'll always be, it'll never be exactly the same as what you did on another kit or a small kit in your kitchen. Uh, so there's always, the, the, the first time I was very, very happy with it, but there's was, there was things that we've tweaked from there on in as you get used to the equipment, as you get used to the process um, and, how the, and how the beer reacts to the, uh, to the kit that you're brewing it on. So over the last uh, seven, eight years, we've gone from seven breweries up to almost 90 breweries within the M25. People want to be more um, local to their product. They want to have stuff which actually means something to them. To have something which is produced on your local doorstep, which may be called uh, Hackney Brewery, London Fields, whatever, uh, that, that actually is something which they belong belong to and say, well, I'm from Brixton, I've got the Brixton Brewery next to me. And I think that's very, very important to people, to be able to wander into their local pub or go down to their local um, cafe and crack open a bottle of something which they, they might know the brewer, they certainly know where it's brewed. And I think that that actual identity is very, very important.